All right, welcome back to the Crypto ZX channel. You guys know what time it is. We're going to be talking about our good old friend Fetch.ai, which of course is now known as ASI Artificial Super Intelligence. And again, I know if you are part of you know the Fetch.ai, whether you're a part of Ocean you know, Protocol or AGIX community, um, you know at the beginning this was like a nightmare. You know when they announced the merger, but now that the merger is complete. Well, mainly complete, um, you know, now things are starting to make a little bit more sense. The token now is, you know, trading under FET. So we're going to pay very close attention to what is happening with Fetch.ai. This time around, remember, artificial super intelligence is combined with three massive powerhouse projects, Fetch.ai, Ocean Protocol, and AGIX. Um, so, you know, there's pretty much, in a way, if you think about it, three big, massive communities that are part of this. And um, at the beginning, you know, some people thought this was bearish and the price took a massive, massive hit. Um, obviously, when I pull out the charts, things will make more sense because, of course, if you held, um, you know, Ocean Pro, if, yeah, if you held Ocean Protocol, if you held, of course, um, you know, AGIX, your tokens got converted, you know, whatever the conversion rate was to um, FET tokens. And of course, FET token holders, uh, you know, had their conversion done as well. And now I think the next round uh, is going to be where they completely turn into a uh, ASI. But anyhow, if you're looking at FET, it's down about 2.9%. Uh, we're going to be talking about what is really next for the price because the amount of requests that I've been getting uh, to cover this is literally through the roof. But, you know, if we're looking at the market, and I'm sure if you guys do follow me on my channel on a regular day-to-day -day basis, you know what has been happening. And again, if you do follow me on my channel on a regular day-to-day -day basis, this move doesn't really come as too much of a shock either. Reason why? Because, you know, Bitcoin uh, was retesting some lows and you know we did see some uh, bearish news come out and literally a snap of a finger you know we saw so much good news coming out and all of a sudden some bearish news came out and on top of that today uh, we did hear some very very negative news regarding uh, you know uh, the stock market seeing a massive flash crash which of course has impacted uh, you know the uh, you know crypto markets as well AGIX, um, I'm sorry, uh, you know, FET token, that's what we're going to be focusing on in terms of what is really happening with the price and what is really next. You know, when you pull out the charts, things make a lot more sense. But uh, before I get into it, guys, as always, just a quick disclaimer, anything on this channel is not financial advice. Always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in crypto. And on top of that, what I want you guys to do is, um, if you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Let me know in the comments down below. And of course, if you want to see more of these updates, you guys know what to do. Let me know in the comments. Any Anyways, you can see now it's called Artificial Super Intelligence Alliance, and uh, the price is currently sitting above a dollar, one dollar seven cents to be exact. It's down about two point nine percent in USD compared, but in Bitcoin and Ethereum comparative, uh, it is actually up right now. So that's of course really nice to see. The market cap, on the other hand, is about two point seven billion dollars, and the twenty-four hour trading volume is at one hundred thirty-five point four million. So I'm going to be quite frank with you, you know, the twenty-four hour trading volume is quite low right now, considering you know this. This is three projects combined but you know what you need to understand is the broader market sentiment right now the uncertainty levels are literally sky high the people that are doing due diligence research right now are really picking up coins at a cheaper price because literally just a few months back you know prices were sky high and since then market has plummeted quite a bit and has shaken out a lot of weak hands at the same time but let's take a closer look and see what really is happening with FET token so looking at bitcoin dominance you guys can see dominance index is skyrocketing right now you know we're getting closer to yearly highs and again this does put a little bit of a negative uh pressure on altcoins specifically especially if in return you do see bitcoin going towards the downside which it actually has done due to the stock market announcement but let's give it a refresh live to take a look at what's happening with bitcoin so bitcoin is still holding above 61,000 to be exact 61,700 but if you do follow on my channel you guys know that you know my confirmation level is around 64,000 of course we're below that so again you know the overall market sentiment you know the traditional market the correlation that it has I think this could trigger a little bit more panic in my opinion even though you are seeing a little bit of a bounce I think that is a fake out and I'm going to be uh, you know quite honest with you and again that's my own personal opinion it could turn on um, 
you know, completely different. But considering what has happened unless the feds come in and announce something crazy, you know, saying they're injecting massive amounts of money into the stock market, that could turn things around. But it's going to be very interesting to see how Bitcoin reacts this time. Last time it was the pandemic. So, of course, you know, pretty much everything got impacted. This time around, you know, Bitcoin at the end of the day, at, at the end of the day is, uh, you know, like, uh, I would say, a hedge, right, in, against inflation. And this time around, could it really show us that? But let's take our, you know, focus towards the price of FET. So looking at Fetch.ai, guys, I'm sure it's no secret at this point that this was one of the biggest, without a doubt, one of the biggest performers this year alone. If you picked up uh, fetch uh, token at the beginning of the year, which of course now is ASAP, but I'm talking about FET price point before the merger that was sitting at 50 cents and it went up a staggering 600%. But since then, you can see, you know, we have seen a sharp drop within its price. Uh, you know, there's a lot to it. You know, obviously, there's uh, the factor of the massive merger that took place. That is a huge catalyst for such a huge sell pressure because, you know, people were like, you know what, we don't want to deal with this. It's totally confusing and we don't really understand what the project's future is going to be it's not that you know fetch.ai was just like you know we're done uh, but you know it's a merger right they're making a brand new token and there's three projects pretty much you can look at it from three companies coming together and you know putting their minds together to build the biggest artificial super intelligence crypto project and again you know when you look at it from the long-term perspective if things do play out um, you know this could be massive right and that is what some people are seeing but some people that picked it up earlier they just didn't want to take the risk and I think it has seen much uh, of a sell pressure than it would have seen if this merger did not happen to be quite frank with you but anyhow uh, you know if you want to look at it from the perspective how much it dropped if you look at it from uh, the all-time high which is three dollars and 48 cents you are down right now 70 percent a 70 percent decrease uh you know within its price and we're being supported by some significant support that of course dates back to the 2021 all time high and that's exactly where you're finding the price of um you know fetch.ai currently holding which of course now is known asi it's going to take some time to kind of get used to asi but um you know it has pulled down quite substantially and again major reason in my opinion the way it has been impacted the way it has is due to obviously the merger itself because a lot of people were confused and trust me a lot of people are still completely confused but if you look at it from the totally different angle and try to understand there's three different projects that have been building this space for quite some time that are actually coming together to build this alliance to you know put their expertise in you know the area they are you know experts in and building like the most revolutionary AI project, you know, that is obviously exciting. And again, it has some things to prove, obviously. Uh, it's gonna take some time, but the price of Fetch has come down quite substantially. So if you were someone that actually believed in AI or, you know, these AI projects, and wanted exposure but couldn't because you know the price has pumped up like 800 percent 700 percent you know um now is a chance to pick it up at a 70 percent discount and that is a substantial discount for the price of fetch.ai so you know what happens you know in terms of its price you know let's actually zoom in a little bit you know this is holding at a very very important support you know we actually got supported by here on july you know the fifth when we did see the entire market tumble towards the downside and we actually saw a beautiful bounce really fast from that range when the market turned around you saw uh, it go up to a dollar 55 cents but you're finding it back down to that uh, you know, low that we retested. And again, very significant amount of support around that range. I do expect this support to hold. But now if Bitcoin turns things around um, and actually goes below the very, very important psychological support line, then guess what? You know, this can change um, the outlook on Fetch.ai and it actually can go below the psychological price point of you know one dollar which it is at right now so next main target if you want to talk about specific targets would be around the 85 cents and to be quite frank with you that is a realistic target that you could see um, that's a move of about 16.5 percent and especially if bitcoin drops below that 60k range that is a possibility so if you want to do your due diligence research and uh, you know dollar cost average in you know this is a great opportunity because you are seeing a massive sale across the board uh some coins actually down 80 percent as well and that is insane that is insane 
but let me know down below what you guys personally think what is your overall um you know thoughts on asi and asi's future and um what is your overall strategy regarding asi let me know in the comments and yeah uh thank you so much for all your support we'll see you tomorrow it's been crypto zx and peace out